right, so here he is, the undefeated Israel Adesanya, his crowning achievement, at least to this point in time, UFC 236, a monumental, unanimous decision win over Kelvin Gastelum in what was one of the best title fights you or I have ever seen. One of the greatest fights of all time. And to watch Israel Adesanya go out in round five, when the fight is on the line and have his very best round of the fight was inspiring for anyone that likes mixed martial arts. If you're a fan of a young guy like Israel, to see him do that, to earn that title, is very, very assuring as he's getting ready to go forward in his career. To achieve that goal in such a short amount of time is truly, truly unheard of. think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Jones is two years his senior. He weighed in at 205 pounds. He will have a four inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions, we go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Lavey. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 23 wins, two losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya. And now, introducing the champion, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a look-see dude fighter, only a professional record of 27 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, John. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, win my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, man, we are underway. radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You just don't know, right? You just don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Oh, Jones goes for the takedown and misses. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the Ooh, 
big shot lands. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Jones going for the head kick. No dice. Big kick. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt, DC. Not a great one. Might as well tell your opponent to shoot, huh? Yeah, he's your best friend. Tell him that you want to take him to his back and watch him defend and then beat you up with the fight stand. Just misses with the jab. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Look at him drive his chin into his own body with that body. Just eating out of his hand, oohing and on every time he advances. I mean, he just captures your imagination. From the walkout to the entrance when he's in the octagon, the fighting style. He just kind of has that thing that makes you want to stop and stare at Israel Asante. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Israel Asante. Under a minute now to go in the opening round. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Effective punch there by Adesanya. Jones gets in the clinch yet again. Let's see if he can get the offense going here. Checks that leg kick. Right on the button. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Right hand upstairs. Three. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are gonna be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely, you're gonna see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Great punch landing so much power. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Clean left punch followed by the right. Just misses there with the left. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. It probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed his kick with so much force. Oh, Jones gets hit by that leg kick. So the numbers continuing to pile up here. 33 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. And connecting on just 35% of his attempts against John Jones. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Nice loose punch. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Whoa! Oh, he dove and he lands. Wow! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. All right, well, both 
Bud is pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Gets up again here, but hurting. Big ball for punch land. Now he gets back to the ring. on point. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Ten seconds remain in round two. Wow! And just like that, the fight is over! Oh my goodness! What a fight! Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you got to show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. All right, the official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is called to stop to this contest at four minutes, 53 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Israel. So we got a new UFC heavyweight champion and potentially a star is born tonight, DC. He is the type of guy that makes people want to tune in. He is the type of guy that you know excitement will happen when you watch him. And tonight he becomes a star in a massive draw for the UFC.